Hello! As per our previous videos on how to fix 1803, the latest version of Windows 10 that is causing a lot of problems, we gave an option to roll back, go back to 1709 using the rollback thing in settings. Now, after 10 days, you will find that does not work. And you may also find that the windows.old folder is deleted and you cannot manually try to return to 1709. Also, you cannot go to the Microsoft website to download the Windows 10 1709 ISO, USB, DVD, etc. as they don't go back into previous versions anymore. So, your only real hope to get a legitimate clean version is to go to a trusted computer that has 1709 on it, create a recovery USB disk, and then using that, do a full wipe of your system and install 1709. Unfortunately, it will result in all programs apps being deleted plus all your files. So I suggest you do a backup of any data that you require. We'll show you briefly over here how to create a recovery USB, recovery, sorry. And then recovery drive, but you need to do this on a 1709 computer, a computer that's currently running 1709. You will have a USB memory stick installed, or just plugged in, I mean. And then all it does is create a recovery drive, make sure you tick this so you can actually do a full wipe and install and then click next. It takes time, it creates all the files and then it'll tell you which drive you wanna select. Make sure you select only the USB memory stick that you've plugged in. It's probably gonna need about eight, between five to 16, put it that way, okay? and just click next 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 and let it do its business once that's finished you have a drive we should show you a link somewhere on this page that will have and in the description a video that specifically goes into creating a recovery drive now what you need to do is just restart your computer okay the simple way is you can go into settings Update and security, recovery, and then advanced startup. You can also, whilst doing this, where it's a shutdown, hold the shift key and then press restart, sorry. And it will boot up into that drive. So we're gonna just show you using this method, advanced startup. Just a quick another method to show you how to boot up into the USB. So basically you click on there and then hold down the shift key and then press restart. Keep holding down the shift key and then once it comes there you can probably let it go by now. Okay. Okay, so once it boots up you get to the screen, click on troubleshoot and then recover from a drive. Now we suggest using this option, clean the drive fully, which basically in case there's any issues with partitions, etc., providing you've backed up all your files on all your drives and partitions, then click on this. So it basically will completely reset your computer, all partitions, even if it's a blank hard disk, it should install Windows 10. A completely blank hard disk, it should install. Okay, click recover. And then it'll take time. Once it's finished, it'll come up asking for the language you choose, the privacy settings that you want to go for. It'll ask you whether to sign up for a Microsoft account or use a local account, means type in a username and password that you create. And then it'll start up into Windows 10 version 1709. And then make sure when you're there that you stop it from upgrading 
to 1803 and the link we should put over here to show a video that has the steps involved for that. So hopefully this helped. In the description you should find the links as well for all extra videos. Thank you for watching.